so other starting today. Jaden at point, Maddox on one wing, Logan on the other wing, Kai and Brandon down low. Okay? You guys listen up though. The way we're going to run X, I want Jaden throwing the ball. Remember how to do that, Jaden? Where's the play going? Right here. Who goes here? Okay, so Brandon, where are you at, Brandon? started with SCA and then I started uh, to play AAU basketball as I got a little older. SCA has uh, changed my life a, a number of ways. Also gained basketball skills, but also uh, life skills, how to deal with people, uh, competitive settings. I met my, my wife uh, through SCA. We have a baby now together and she's probably going to play SCA. So. <laughs> I mean, it really is a family thing. It wasn't only just basketball, but it was another community to um, pursue. Our life, and, uh, I think it's just helped me out, out all in general with my confidence, who I am today, also about learning about competition and hard work. FCA for me like ran the family. My mom played when she was younger. My mom and my dad both helped the clinic, and so um, it was kind of just bred into the family, and so. I didn't really have a choice. I'm glad I did it though, but um, that's, that's how I got involved in clinic and SCA. Uh, honestly, SCA has been a big part of my life. I had a strong bond with a lot of my friends from high school, so we have a common ground at high school, outside of school. Uh, a lot of us coach together now. We have a lot, majority of our team come back and coach as well. And it seems like everybody that plays just finds life on friends as well. What he said. <laughs> When you play rec ball, you kind of just play for a community center. But when you join, you're actually, you become family. And as you can see, my whole family went through it. My nephew, I actually, I forgot to mention, my nephews played for SCA. I always look forward to, you know, the other teams coming into town and then us all getting together. Yeah, yeah. Right, so you used to, you were like the, because you were like the same size you were now when you were like 10. <laughs> and you stopped same doing facial hair. Yeah, same amount of facial hair. This still came with hella mature. Yoked out. Hella mature, hella yoked out. You know, going on to college and just getting busy with your own, you know, social life. Um, I ran into Cheryl Chow somewhere and then she encouraged me to you know, kept calling me, encouraged me to come back to coach. Now, I would recommend SCA for, you know, young people. Um, when they come, you know, they're supported by uh, volunteer coaches, coaches that care about um, their well-being, care about them learning a skill, basketball, but also learning life skills. Giving back to SCA and the community is, uh, I am also a coach, so I head coach um, boys basketball. Uh, I've been basically coaching since I graduated from high school. It's on the court, but also off the court, uh, helping the kids out, and uh, just the community in general. Now, even though I don't play SCA that much, every so often I'll help out my coach. Like, there was a point um, a year after we graduated, my team and I will come help our coach, the coach's new team, just like, like how people help coach us when we were on his team, so we thought we can give back to them by being the next people to help coach their our coaching team. I just wanted to thank SGA for everything you've done for me and you know wishing you a happy birthday, happy 50th birthday. Thank you SCA, it's been a great 50 years from when I was a kid through coaching. I hope we can continue to build strong community values and uh, really getting the word out there that it's more than just basketball, it's a family. Thank you SCA for providing me with a lifetime worth of memories, lifelong friends and starting me out on my basketball career. As a, one of the representatives of the founders of SCA, we would like to Congratulate SCA for their 50th anniversary. Happy 50th SCA and many more to come. Thank you. Hey, thank you SCA. Happy 50th. Happy 50th birthday. Happy 50th SCA and here's to 50 more years, I hope. Happy 50th SCA! Thank you SCA. Happy 50th anniversary. Thank, Thank you, SCA. Happy 50th. Happy 50th, SCA. Thank you, SCA. Happy 50th. Thank you, SCA, and happy 50th. So many kids and, and, and adults have, have been benefited uh, from having been a part of SCA. So I just thank you for everything and uh, best of luck.
Thank you, SCAA, for providing me with a lifelong. Sorry. Thank you, SCAA, for providing me with a lifetime. I don't know how to. Learn different things. Sometimes we would leave Friday and then come back. Uh, actually, that was. Okay. <laughs> So I would just say that like SCA in general. You gonna do this? Starting. <laughs> are we are we recording here? <laughs> Simon Chan. He used to, he was he was very intellectual intellectually there. He was very fit. He used to come through and like if you didn't know Simon, you're like man, this guy's about to ball. We used to eat Simon up. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Ready and go. Thank you SCA for oh my goodness. <laughs> We wish you a happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, SCA. Happy, happy 50th anniversary. Best of luck for you in the future. One more time, one more time, one more time. Yeah. One more time. I okay. need a script. All right, go ahead. Uh, quick shout out to my team, Ben's 10, 2015 ABL champs. I love you guys. See you guys later. <laughs>